Good morning, Mount Olive. Hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday morning. Uh, before we go into our devotion, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, we want to thank you for all you do for us. We want to thank you for watching over us, for blessing us the way you do. Lord, thank you for being a good, good father to us. Lord, that we have blessings, Father, that we can't even mention. Lord, we ask that you'll touch each and every one that is sick, each and every one that needs a touch from you. Lord, we ask Lord, that you'll please deal with those people that come through our doors that don't accept you as the personal Savior. Father, please give them one more day, Father, Lord, that they will not let the sun go down without asking for your healing touch. Lord, thank you for being with us. Watch over our mission team, Father, as they continue to do your work. Give them safety. And if they give them, give them souls for their labor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We're following up on Brother Tommy's uh, message uh, that he did uh, Sunday. Wonderful message. Uh, Father's Day message. And uh, gave us a lot to think about. And as we kind of start our devotion on Good Father, uh, that is exactly what our Heavenly Father is. And we may not have a, an earthly father. Or our earthly fathers are here uh, to give us direction. But our Heavenly Father is one that will give us wisdom, will give us uh, direction. Uh, and, and most of all, he's given us good gifts like salvation. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, scriptures. Uh, Brother Tommy was in Luke 15. And... Um, He's really in the in the story of the prodigal son, and in this lesson, a, a young son goes to his father and asks his father for his portion of the estate, and when he is given that amount of money and goods, he takes it and goes off into a far country and wastes it on riotous living, and basically he just wastes it, goes through the money, and before you know it, there's a famine in the land. He finds himself in a, uh, in a pig swine. Uh, in a pig uh, sty, basically working with the pigs and farm animals and really uh, even looking at what they're eating, saying, hey, that's pretty good. And he kind of gives himself a pep talk and says, you know what, I'm in a really bad spot here. And in 18, he says, I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee and am no more worthy to be called thy son, make me as one of thy hired servants. So he's, he's in this situation. He kind of starts thinking to himself, I've got a plan, and this is, this is really bad. My servants have got more food than what I've got right now. So I am going to have a plan. I'm going to rise up and go to my father, and this is what I'll say. And maybe if I say this, uh, my father won't reject me will let me become a servant and I can have food to eat and a place to stay. Uh, I know I am not worthy to be called his son anymore. And even though we in our spiritual life uh, walk off from God in so many different ways and don't follow his direction, uh, our father uh, is still waiting for us. We find that out in the next verses. Um, in verse 20, uh, the son rises up and he says, he arose and came to his father but when he was a, yet a great way off, so several miles, uh, several hills down, uh, you can see people coming to the house. His father saw him. So his father was looking for him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And as the, the son started to get out his little paper and, and say his little speech, uh, it says here in verse 22, it says, but the father said to his servants, bring forth the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and the shoes on his feet and bring hither the fatty calf and kill it. Let us eat and be merry for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be merry. Uh, so this is a good father. This is not the father that the son thought he would come and, and really deserve to have that hard reaction from his father to say, uh, listen, I don't, I'm no longer worthy to be your son. I just want to be your servant. But his father had compassion on him. You know, that's what our heavenly father has on us each day. Uh, he has compassion on us. And even though we do stray, he's already looking for us to come by. And as we even get close, uh, 
Our Father is more than willing to forgive us, to bring us back into the house, and to make us sons and daughters again. Uh, in Matthew 7, this is Jesus talking. He says, ask and it shall be given you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what, or what man is there of you whom, if his son asks bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father, or your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask them? You know, if we come to him and ask him for uh, direction, for uh, good heavenly gifts, you know, he is wanting to be that good, good father for you. If you're not a part of his family, you can be today. Just ask him to forgive you your sins and put your trust in him. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday and see you in church real soon.